hey guys i'm giving away this account initially i started out doing this free to play uh, account and i still am free to play on this account uh, i thought it would be a fun thing to do to start up the new year and it has been fun and it's given me some insight keeping a pulse on what it's like to be free to play uh, sort of keeping me a little bit grounded on top of that you know i've got work i run two youtube channels that takes a lot of time to do and then i do my own video editing um for for the most part i do my own video editing this is the account so far these are all the champions that i have i'll show you guys all of the champions as well as you know you take a quick look at their builds we did get nekmothar that's huge death keeper just came out with a guide for him check that out cold heart came out with a video talking about cold heart and reflex Saurus, six second stage 12 three farmer and i think this actually added to the uh, overall burnout for this specific account i really wanted to bestow chronum on this account so that whoever does take this account is going to have chronum and they're not going to have to do the month to three months worth of grinding that it takes to get chronum i do have a couple videos on how to do Chronum, how to get him for your main account. So if you're interested in that, um, go ahead and search that on my channel or I'll link it down below. We do have Genbo. A lot of these guys aren't built. What I've had to do is focus on the main champions that I need for the dungeons and arena. And you know, you don't have a lot of resources on a free-to-play account. You don't have a lot of resources in the beginning. It's it's hard. <laughs> you know, Apothecary, this one was a huge one to to pull. I was really excited. Basically, a, a, a blue legendary champion. Um, if you guys don't know, the running joke built-in speed and relentless you can see his stats right here almost 200 speed and he's got a five-star blessing guys i got really lucky on that a five-star blessing for apothecary of course we've got kale but you know i don't really worry about kale i don't even use him as a farmer or a nuker because i have um saurus and sun wukong and then of course we had the free login champion rathalos blade master we got jamarsa who very early on was great as an aoe reviver she's still an awesome aoe uh, aoe reviver uh ferric in the fat so you know you got some some uh, clan boss or yeah you've got some clan boss and fire knight compositions that you could do with ferric in the fat abess is another nuker um we all yeah you know this champion uh, we summon Snow White. The uh, Grizzled Jarl is a great clan boss champion. Senesha, Magnar, and we've got High Katoon, of course. Uh, El Hain and Bellower. We recently just summoned Bellower. If I had summoned him a lot sooner, I probably would have built him out as my campaign farmer. But, you know, it is what it is. Whoever does take this account, you'll have a pretty decent start. Uh, let, me guys, let me show you guys the gear so you guys can get a, a better picture of what the gear looks like. 167 pieces of gear i've treated this um very so because i'm on a free to play account where silver is very scarce i've had to be very stingy with my gear only keeping and only upgrading like the best of the best or what i consider to be uh decent or really good pieces so there's not going to be a plethora like you're not going to see like look it's only at 167 in total and I still need to do a, a cleanse even further. I'm very, very strict with my gear, especially on a free-to-play account. Because I remember one of my mistakes growing up in Raid was that I was leveling up pretty much everything. Even things that did not need to be leveled. Just because I was like, okay, well, I might need it. You know, who, who knows? It could be useful. But no, uh, I only keep it if I think that it's something that I would potentially... Potentially? I only upgraded things that i thought could have potential to take all the way to 16. now it's not perfect um but i did have to kind of peel away from the end game mindset and warp myself into a beginner mindset the same thing with the accessories of course i haven't um gear cleansed the accessories either but you guys get the point point. and this is what the great hall is looking like we're some tokens away from maxing or getting this to level seven which is what is needed to continue the arena missions so initially what i was going to do was i was going to give this account away when i got to arbiter when i got arbiter i was like i was saying okay when i get arbiter i'm going to give this account away um, just to be able to do Arbiter completely free to play because the first time I played Raid, I was dirty pay to win. I'm still dirty pay to win, but you know, I, I wanted to see if I could do it. It's not so much that it's actually hard. I think the biggest thing here is that it's just a huge time sink. So if you're a newer player, maybe you want this account or maybe you just want to collect accounts. Ideally, this account would go to somebody who is actually going to play the game. I mean, it does have Chronum. That's, that's an investment. That's a big investment in and of itself. Sun Wukong 
and Rathalos. I think Rathalos you can't summon anymore, so I mean there's value in that, right? Because Rathalos you can't even pull from shards anymore since he was part of the limited time event. In terms of the in terms of classic arena, we're in classic arena three. We're in TTA 2, but I haven't really been focusing on that. A little bit away from doing Drekstar and Yakarl. Dungeons, we're doing Minnow 15. Ice Golem, we're doing 14, but I don't think it's 100%, so I would uh, only do 13. Spider's Den, we're doing 13. 14 can be done, but it is not 100%. And then we're doing stage 16 of Dragon's Keep. I think Dragon is one of the easier ones, so this is 100%, as far as I'm aware of. Because, like, what I've been doing was just throwing it in and just setting it and forget it. Um, 13, 14, I think 14 is not 100%, so I would stick to 13. And, of course, we're not really doing Sand Devil or Phantom Shogun yet. In Faction Wars, this is our progress. Part 3 of 21 on our way to Lydia. But, of you know, I mean, you guys already know Faction Wars is not even really on the radar right now. And neither is Doom Tower or Cursed City. And then in terms of clan boss, we are one king easy and normal. Hard takes a few keys, sometimes two, sometimes three. It kind of just depends. But um, yeah, I've been doing my, my clan boss. Uh, I, I didn't even log in yesterday to do clan boss on this account. So I'm going to give this video a week to, you know, send it out to as many people. Right now it is April 20th and next Saturday, the 27th, is going to be when I'm going to draw the winner. And the time that I'm going to draw the winner at will be at 6 p.m. UTC. So just look up when that is, when is 6 p.m. UTC, and you'll know when I'm going to post the stream so you guys can be there for it if you want to be there for it. If you don't, then I'll obviously hit you guys up. A couple key notes for the giveaway. One, you have to be in the Discord. You have to be in the Discord so that I can DM you and verify that you are who you say you are because that's how um, I do it because I've been... People have tried to scam me a few times when it comes to giveaway and uh, I got to make sure that that doesn't happen. And if you've won giveaways before, you can't win giveaways again. Uh, like if you've won account giveaways because I've done two other account giveaways and if you won those, then you can't obviously win this one. Um, I do want the account to go to somebody who is actually going to use the account because I've given two accounts away and I'm pretty sure that they just fell dead and that kind of sucks. And then when it comes to drawing the winner, I'm basically going to put all of your guys' comments in a YouTube randomized comment picker and then I will at you or DM you or uh, let you know in the comments that you won. And one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people will come to these videos and they'll just like see in the comments what everybody else is typing. They'll look for specific keywords um, but I'm not going to do that because I think that's sort of cheating. So just go ahead and tell me your experiences with burnout. And then if you want to go ahead and get some extra cookie points, tell me what you did to cope or work through that burnout. And the YouTube randomized comment picker will sort through all your comments and I'll verify to make sure that you guys actually did tell me something that had to do with burnout.